Hi guys, Janet from My Crazy Little Life. Welcome back. I had the best day today. My daughter and some friends and I went kayaking this morning. We spent a couple hours out in the river, so that was really nice. And then when we came home, my friend and I went shopping for the day. So, well, I shouldn't say the day. We didn't leave till 5.30, but I just got home a few minutes ago. So it was a good, good shopping day. I went to Home Depot. I went to Dollar Tree. I went to Joanne's Fabric. Um, I think that was it. And then we ended up with dinner. We finished up with dinner at uh, Longhorns. So it was a good day. It was a really good day. Um, there is definitely one absolute favorite piece of this haul. And I will show that at the very end. But I'm going to start off with just a few things. Like I went to Home Depot and the stuff I got at Home Depot was all real uh, like necessity. It really wasn't a lot of fun stuff that I got at Home Depot. But the rest of the day was pretty much fun stuff. So I just, I got a couple of couple spray paints, um, Rust-Oleum. This Rust-Oleum, the 2X, is definitely one of my favorite spray paints to work with, but I have quite a few things that I need to get done, and out of all the spray paint colors I, I got, I was out of black and white. So I had to just, you know, again, Home Depot isn't really mostly fun stuff, it's basics. So I got the two spray paints, and then I'm gonna be doing some fun new tumblers, um, probably for Christmas but I have to get the wrenches. So they're tumblers where you, the um, the handle of the tumblers, you make it out of a wrench and two 10, 10 millimeter sockets. So I needed this JB Weld steel stick to do that. And this is just, it's a little tube. And inside the tube, like this, this tube is basically divided in half. And it's the two parts of the epoxy that you need. So you just break off a little tiny piece and you have, like mix together like Play-Doh. So that's what this is for. But that was, I hadn't planned on getting this. I, I planned on getting it, but it really wasn't on today's list at Home Depot. But I got it because I was there. And then I got a switch for my light for my porch because the switch broke. But I realized after I looked and looked and looked and looked and looked and thought I bought the right one, that says ceiling fan, not porch, not light. So I will be, um, I'll be going back probably within the next couple of days to get a light. And then I needed another one of these. You can also tell I've been gone most of the day. That's why my dog is not six inches from me. Uh, I needed another one of these totes for my, um, I don't remember why, there was something I needed, oh my, I was just gonna say, I'm gonna be mad if I brought the wrong lid, but I did not, I got the right lid. So these totes at Home Depot, it is, they're hefty, uh, they're called high rise, and this one is an 18 quart. These are only $5.98, these are cheap, and it's a good size, and it's rubber made, so it's not like that stir light, that stuff that you know will break pretty quickly. But I had wanted this for my cups. There was something I can't remember. I think I had a bunch of little, um, like I have a bunch of little things, car coasters and some necklaces and a bunch of other little things that I needed a container for because the one I had them in broke. And then last thing I got from Home Depot DCF has changed their requirements, so I needed to get new fire extinguishers. So I got two, and this, I think they were 29 for the two of them, but they're the, you know, like the generic fire extinguisher. So I have two of those now. Probably not a bad idea. I mean, I used to, whenever I would um, give a wedding gift, I used to always give a fire extinguisher, either a wedding or a wedding shower or whatever, I used to always give a fire extinguisher because it's a great thing to have. Um, and people just don't think about them, I don't, I don't think. So now we're going to move on to Dollar Tree. I got a lot of stuff at Dollar Tree. Um, let me start with this bag just because it's closest to me. So I got another Canada Dry. I told you about that in the last one I had. Um, I've been drinking a lot more water with that, so that's good. And then I got a bottle of soy sauce. Excuse 
excuse me, hmm. um, 16, I believe it's 16, I can't read it, it's either 15 or 16 ounces, excuse me, soy sauce, but it was $1.25, while I was there, I looked on, because I had it in my cart at Walmart, and at Walmart for the same, um, the same size was, it wasn't much more, but it was like $1.50. So it wasn't much more, but it was enough more that why not buy it while I'm there. Then I needed some cooking spray for camping. The camping box was empty. Now these are five ounce. And so I went online to Walmart again, and I looked, and there, these are five ounce. The eight ounce at Walmart was two fifty two. So for two fifty at Walmart, I got ten ounces. I mean, at Dollar Tree, I got ten ounces. So, and they're little, so they'll be better to keep in the camping box because they're little, easy to transport, and that kind of stuff, easy to tuck in. Now, I had shown you this one, the three D. Alpha Land, uh, this is the Lemonade. I had shown you this in another haul. I hadn't tried it yet. I took it with me kayaking today and the part that I did get to drink was delicious. So I would highly recommend that. It's 15 calories for the whole, yeah, for the whole can. Normally I have my contacts out when I do this, but I just got home and I'm like, I'm gonna get this done so I can put this stuff away and then get up to bed. So I have my contacts in. So pardon me that I can't read things. Um, I do have bifocal contacts, so normally I can read them, but I'm tired, it's late, so, uh, but I just did want to get this out. But these, these were tasty. I do not get jitters from any of these energy drinks. I don't get any sort of um, reaction at all. My daughter laughs and she tells me it just takes my ADD and sort of balances me out. Um, all right, so what does it say here? It contains 200 milligrams of caffeine per 16 fluid ounce can so it's like on par with all the rest of them but it was tasty not too sweet and i i really did like this one and the best part it's a lemonade flavor that didn't give me heartburn so there's that one and then there was another of the 3d this one was strawberry lemonade same thing 200 milligrams of caffeine and 15 calories for the whole can I mean, these people are on point with the decorations on the can. Like these are these are cool looking cans. They all have the black tops. But the strawberry lemonade is just the plain silver. So I'm looking forward to trying that one. I hope it's not too sweet. Then I did get another one. This is berry blue. This one's 20 calories, 200 milligrams, uh, 200 milligrams of caffeine and 20 calories so pretty though pretty super pretty black top just like all the rest of them so i got that one then oh i got another another lemonade stacking this stuff in front of me i probably should find a better safer place for it and then they had this one i only saw one of these and this one is 15 calories, same thing, 200 milligrams of caffeine. But when I saw this can, I knew. So if I showed you this can without, without telling you the flavor, what are you going to think it tastes like? This one is Liberty Pop, which is, you know, Bomb Pop, the same thing, the, the red, white, and blue, like the, the popsicles we used to all get as kids. Um... And actually, there's quite a few drinks now that taste like Bomb Pop. So this one's Liberty Pop. There was only one. I didn't see any more in the store. So for my camping box, um, we needed more trash cans. Now, when we camp, whether we tent camp or whether we camp or camp, either way, we usually take a trash bag and we hang it off the awning um, or the, the tent. Like we'll set up a 10 by 10 over the picnic table. We hang the trash bag from the, we never, ever, ever put our trash bags on the ground because skunks are everywhere. So we hang our trash bag and we do the same thing every day. Um, you know, at night we go and we check out the, the sunset and on our way over to check out the sunset, we stop and we drop the trash at the dumpster, which is, you know, excuse me, right. Oh my goodness. That was loud. 
um, right on the way. But these trash bags, they're 13 gallon trash bags. So the kitchen, you know, the kitchen size, and there was nine of them. Now, dollar 25 for nine trash bags is it on par. I don't know. My thought was it's nine trash bags. It's good size, perfect for, you know, the, the pink camping box. And this is just made by Essentials, just as tall kitchen bags. They're unscented. I also get unscented for camping, especially because you don't want anything that's gonna draw the creatures over. Um, the critters, the critters can be a little much. I got another Sunkist. Now I've showed this a million times before, but the Sunkist and the Canada Dry, I'm trying really hard to drink more water. This thing, I've been looking for these with, I, I should tell you the Dollar Tree we went to today is, we went to Connecticut. They have a better, um, like a nice, I don't know if it's new, but it's in a, it, I haven't been to this particular plaza in Enfield in many years. And it was cool. Like it, this Dollar Tree is, I told my friend, I said, next year in the spring, we are coming here for shore living because I guarantee you they have the biggest shore living line out of anyone. So for the stores around us anyway. So I've seen a lot of people haul these in the past. It's it's a bar soap, bar soap pouch. It's kind of like an exfoliator. It's got a nice, nice texture to it. But the top opens and you just put your bar soap in it and then, you know, you close it up and you can hang it in the bathroom or whatever. So I got this because every year my sister gets us some sort of really nice, high quality soap. And I generally don't put soap in my shower because I don't like the slimy. And um, so I just, I never really wanted to use it. But when I saw it, there was only two of these. So I have a feeling, you know, like I never saw these at the store that I normally shop at. Um, I sure I should have looked in that camera and saw my shirt, but I never saw these at the, the store that we normally shop at. So I got these at the one we went to today and I was pretty excited. So I got just one of these. So it's just the bar soap holder, which is good because I'll be able to use up a lot of things that are upstairs in my room. Now these, I got, thought I got two of these, but they must be in different bags. So we're going camping and we have, um, you know, I have that, my, my little foster baby, she's coming with us. My daughter had seen a thing online where people take these and they give them to the kids and let them paint the rocks at the campground because they're going to wash right off anyway. If it, as soon as it rains, they're going to wash right off. So I just picked up a couple of these so the baby can have something to do um, while we're back at the tent. So I thought that would be fun. And then the last thing I have in this bag is a Himalayan pink bath salt, naturally rich in over 80 minerals for radiant looking skin. Now this has, it's 1.1 pounds. I love, when I take my baths, I love to do the Epsom salt or, you know, but generally different you know, lavender Epsom salts or the bath bombs or whatever. So when I saw this for a buck 25, I usually get the individual packets at Walmart for 98 cents that are like a, a quarter of this. So I thought this was a good price and I only grabbed one, but I thought, you know, what the heck, I'll give it a shot and see if I like it. I also noticed while I was there and I did not get these because I don't know what sane person would. I deal with glitter all the time. I am in my shop. There's glitter. I have hundreds, hundreds of colors of glitter. I have glitter everywhere. And I am extremely careful that it stays in my shop. But I don't care how careful you are. My little horse there comes down to the shop with me. And he'll get covered in glitter because there'll be some on the floor or whatever. He'll roll, whatever. He, it's just glitter. Glitter, uh, you know, many, many, many people. It's commonly called the herpes of the craft world. Because once you've got glitter on you, you're not getting it off. Well, so I walk around the corner and they got bath bombs like these, but they're glitter. I'm never going to, I'm never going to buy that. And I'm like, the only people that are going to buy that are unsuspecting grandmothers who don't realize that 
swath that glitter leaves behind it. So anyway, I got that to take baths. I love, I love to take baths. In case you hadn't figured that out for me already. Okay, let's see. I know I shouldn't get this, but I don't know what's worse. This or the, um, you know, people, nobody's really said anything to me about the energy drinks. Back your nose up. My dog's about to knock my camera down. Um, hey, let's put these on the floor and then you won't be sniffing them. Um, so anyway, I every once in a while I get a super craving for Diet Pepsi. It has to be Diet Pepsi, not Diet Coke. My my Dollar Tree only, cover, only carries Diet Coke. <clears throat> so when I saw this down there and it was Diet Pepsi, I grabbed one. I grabbed one, I'll put it in my pantry. Because every once in a while you get a craving and you have it and then it's, you know, it's gone. And actually last time I had a craving for it and I drank it, you know, it was one of those where I really wasn't all that thrilled afterwards, but yeah, it's fine. Then I got these heavy duty scouring pads. There's four of them. Now everything I bought was $1.25, nothing was over. Um, so I got four of these. When I do the citrus strip on cups, I use these a lot. So I just thought I'd get some because I can cut them in half and um, these will go well. The next thing you're gonna see coming soon is uh, organizing under my cabinets. I got the Betty Crocker chocolate chip cookie mix. Now this is the one you only add, you add a half a stick of butter and a tablespoon of water. So, and it's softened, not melted, so that'll be easy to do when we're camping. But I thought this in the cast iron pan over the fire would be good for one night. You know, we could, uh, I have those little, I get them for my girls every year. I call them the, call them the husband thumpers because they're the, the little, those little tiny cast iron frying pans. They're only like this big around. Um, but you can, they usually come at the holidays. You'll get a nice cast iron pan with like a brownie mix or a cookie mix. And I get them every year for the kids because I, it's just fun. It's more of a, it's just a, a novelty. But the cast iron pans are actually really nice. And, and the, it's, you get them at Christmas time. They're in all, where all that, all the gifty things are, like all the gift packs that they put together in Walmart. So I get those every year and they're, because they're a nice, cute little cast iron pan. So anyway, I'm gonna do the chocolate chips over the fire and um, for camping. I thought that would be fun. I thought the girls would enjoy that. Now, tomorrow is Laugh and Craft. When I went to this Dollar Tree, tomorrow's the day I'm making my, my, um, my wreath. They had these beautiful, I had showed you the other blue that I got the other day. They had these. So I got two stems of these. I They don't appear to both be in the same, but let me get to that. Sandra James, that's enough. That's enough. My dog just sighed at me in case you didn't hear that. <laughs> this is the other, oh, and Emma found the bag. All right, so this is the other, um, watercolor pen I got for the baby. So tomorrow at Laugh and Craft, I will be doing my wreath, but then I'm gonna finish my um, wharf, the pier part of my porch. So I got another, there's two of these. I don't know if they're both in this bag or not. They are not both in this bag, but I have this one and I have a white one. So I have, I will now have two, four, five different houses for my pier and um, a couple of different styles. So to go with this, I have, I have a white dry erase marker somewhere. It's in, you'll see it come across it. But then I got the colored ones because I have one of these that's white. And all I'm going to do is draw on, I was going to do it with my Cricut, but I think it's just going to be easier to draw it on with the Sharpie. No, it's not a Sharpie, a dry erase marker. Um, so, you know, like the door, the windows and stuff. And my plan is for each of these houses to Emma, Emma, no. Oh, Jesus Christ, she got, Emma just, sorry. Emma just got my pumpkins. So I don't know if I'll be able to get them back. She is having a blast over there with my pumpkins. So hopefully there'll be enough of them left for me to 
make the wreath with. But anyway, so I have these. I have two of this kind, two of a different kind, and then that one house that I bought at Michael's. But my plan is, you know, doorway, windows, whatever. And then up here, she is carrying those pumpkins around the kitchen. Good Lord, Kitty. Um, my plan is up here on all of the houses, I'm going to put a, like, whatever the holiday is. I'll put a pumpkin, I'll put a snowflake, I'll put a heart, a shamrock, an Easter egg, whatever, um, up here. So that's how I'll be able to decorate for the holidays with my little porch. So there's one of those. There's another one coming. And then, like I said, these dry, dry erase markers. I got just some color. I needed, I got this one for the black, but I figured the colors would be nice too in case I wanted to do something else with the colors. So then this. This is a Christmas present. I fully don't expect the recipient to be watching these videos, but if she does, maybe she knows, maybe she doesn't. But this is a Christmas present. It's just, it's just a, um, just a straight up composition book, but it's, it's got a corgi on it. So now I am going to be on vacation and my friend's going to be taking care of my animals. So I got these two frames. Ironic that it has a dog in the picture, but I got these two frames because what I'm going to do is I'll have one for the cats upstairs that has all their instructions and one for the dog down here that has all his instructions. So that will, um, that way there they'll know exactly, you know, who to call in case of emergency, all that sort of stuff. Right. So I have another thing. So there's two of these as well. This is different than the one I got the other day. This one is more of the blue tones, the white pumpkins with the blue berries on it. But I got two of these. These are really pretty. Um, I probably shouldn't put it over there because then Emma will haul off with it. She's she's Right now she's torn between running around the town with my my blue pumpkins and jumping in the paper bag. Uh, another thing they have, now when I do craft fairs, when I do craft fairs, I have, um, I have pegboards that I hang stuff on. Now I had gone to Harbor Freight and I bought a five pack of pegboard things. And yet granted they were, they were metal and they were longer, but I don't need them metal or longer. And for the same five pack that I got here, I paid considerably more at Harbor Freight. So these were $1.25. I ended up, I think I got five packages of them. But again, there's only two in this bag. So um, I'll put this over here and I can start putting stuff back in. But I did, um, are you gonna walk by? Yeah, I'm not the one in charge of who goes where here. Okay, so I have, I showed you the, there's two of those and everything. My porch, what I'm gonna do with, I have, so I have two skeleton, like people skeletons. I have a horse, a couple of dogs. I don't know if I ever bought the cat or not. We'll see when I open the bag this year uh, or the box that's in the garage. But I know for a fact I have two dogs. So when I saw these, they're just, they're glittery. They're just glittery bones, just bones, but they were perfect. They're perfect that they're white. Um, so it just says decorative bone two pack. Uh, so I, I got these two and again, they're, they're sparkly, but I thought they would look cute in the, excuse me. I don't know why I'm burping so much. I thought these would look cute in the dog's mouths. My porch has a really nice, you know, shelf all the way around it. And so I'm going to, right now I have like some beach, um, like the jars with the solar lights on them. But for Halloween, I'll move the ones that I have on the front and I'll move those to the side. So I'm gonna take that whole front that faces the road and I'll put all my skeletons up there. And again, like I said, I, I'm pretty sure I had said on my last video that I've never had any issues here, ever. But there's no need to tempt fate. 
So I'm gonna just put them all up inside and I think that'll look pretty. So while I was there, I had got, you know, I told you I got some pumpkins for my table. Well, look at how pretty this one is. These are really nice. Like, look at that detail in that stem. And then there, there's this fabric. Um, and it's just the, the prettiest color. So this will also go on my dining room table with my other ones. Oh, look at that. I bought, I bought a different color pumpkin, too. Look at this one. This, now this kind of looks like it's that same, the light blue that I got the other day, but it's not, this one's gray. And the table runner that I have for in there for um, the fall is the pumpkins, but it's the blue and gray and white pumpkins, not the orange and green necessarily. So these will go, these ones I got for the table, not for the wreath. And honestly, anything that I don't use for the wreath is going to go on the table anyway. I'm just looking in here to see. Um, this. So I got a little tied. The Tide with Downy. It's uh, April Fresh. I got this specifically because I got that little... the. The Timu washer, which is like one of the first things that, oh, you know, that that was one of the first ads I ever saw for Timu. I've never seen anyone haul it. I've never seen anyone use it. But I decided, come on, walk. Um, I decided that I got it for $15 the other day. So if it comes in before we go on vacation, I will take it on vacation with us just for things like if the baby you know, gets really messy or makes whatever, if I need to clean up something. <coughs> Excuse me. So I got that. It's my friend here. Um, so I, I got that washer. And, hi, buddy. And I'm hoping it comes in. <laughs> this is what he does when he wants to tell me something. He'll come up and he'll just put his head down. And then if I don't listen to him, he presses a little harder and presses a little harder. So he probably wants that. The neighbors are having a fire and I'm sure he can hear them. So anyway, I got that little Tide because I want to use that washer. And if it, like I said, if it comes in before I go to the beach, great. If it doesn't, great. But I will, my plan, if it doesn't come in before the beach, my plan is to use it for my bras. Because anyone who knows this heat, any of the girls, any of the girls who got the, you know, bigger ladies, um, the bras, you have to wash your bras like so ridiculously much more than any other time of the year. So I thought that little collapsible washing machine, I'll give it a try. And if it sucks, I'll return it. But I thought I would try that. And that's why I got that. So my friend also, the one I did the shopping with today was my friend Sandy, who is the one that I said we were going to have that competition about who would spend less on their planner. Well, I guess someone went a little crazy and she spent a couple extra dollars on her planner. <laughs> so we're back. We're back to even, if not me, slightly in the lead. Um, this is the other house. This is the white house. So I have the, I have the dark and the light. Those two houses. Now. For the dark one, I got this chalk marker, and it says that it is wet erasable. So I figured that's gonna work fine to draw the details on the dark houses that I want to because it's not gonna get wet. So once it's there, it's there unless I wipe it off with you know something wet. But I just thought it would be one less thing having to use my Cricut for. So. I thought that was pretty. So that's cool. I got that. I don't know how much they are normally, but I was there and it was easier. This is the other pumpkin stem, the blue pumpkin stem. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on, my pumpkin rolled away. I got another pumpkin. How cute is this one? Just a little orange one. So that'll go on my dining room table as well. 
And then you all know every time I go to Dollar Tree, I get some of these for my sister. When I go see her next week, I swear, I probably have 40 of them for her. So I have, I think I brought about five more packs today. Another pack of those. Sorry, I'm just trying to get to the last of the stuff. Okay. Now, this, oops, some of the berries fell off. The girl who bagged, like, she just did not care at all. Everything just went into the bag next to her. I handed her this first, and I said, put it in the bottom of the bag. It'll help give the bag some more stability. So this is just a little orange bucket. It's got the, you know, blueberries from my thing, the, the flower picks I bought. But I got this just so that I have something to put the Halloween candy in when I hand it out. Uh, I did have a Red Bull, but there was so much candy left over last year um, that I I gave, my daughter was here and I'm like, I just gave her the whole bowl. I'm like, please take this entire thing. Just take it all and go. So that's what that's for. Just super cute. There was a couple of them. There was a black one too. And I think they had different sayings on them. Now these, I had never seen these before. They're um, the Arizona green tea gummies. Now, my daughter likes the Arizona green tea in this flavor, um, this this design. So I'm going to put these in our Christmas stocking. The odds of her ever watching this video and remembering at Christmas time that I bought them is slim to none, so I'm not worried about it. But this, I got these. Now, I don't honestly know for $1.25 if I really saved anything, but I've never seen them before. It's only a 2.25 ounce package. It's not, there's not a lot there. So, but either way, I got that for Christmas. So kind of on the same food theme, everybody's been hauling these pretzels, the Pop Daddy pretzels. So I got, and now this is 140 calories per serving. And it says there are, I think it says two servings, that the writing is right on the, like on the, the wrinkles here. So I think it's two servings. So this one is cinnamon sugar. Made with flavor so bold, it's lip smacking, finger licking, goodness and crunch. Made in Michigan. So cinnamon sugar. And then I also got the garlic parmesan. Now the garlic parmesan, 150 calories. Oh, three servings per container. So I'm sure that's the same way. Uh, each serving is about 31 sticks. Now, 31 sticks is a lot. That's a lot of pretzels. So, um, so those will be good. This one, the garlic parmesan. Everybody's been hauling those, and everybody I've heard has been very happy with them. Now this, I couldn't not buy this. I had seen another creator talk about some planner stickers that she had gotten at Dollar Tree. And I went to look for them, and I was like, I couldn't find them. Um, and then when the ones I did find... All I want for my planner, like if I want stickers for planner, I want one that says doctor appointment, dentist appointment, birthday, holiday, whatever, vacation, like the things you would normally put in a planner. So I did find these, and these are made by Jot, and these are called planner stickers, but these have all that, you know, vacation and birthdays and appointments and all those things. So... I got this package. Now, my friend had said, well, she was there. So see the ones like this? These are the ones that, that you have the discs. And I guess online she saw them. And they had several different parts of these planners that you use the discs for. We found one cover and then in a totally different place, these stickers. But they're all part of the ones that have those discs. We couldn't find any other in that particular vein. Um, so we got just that one. But this 
Look at how pretty these are. These are just the Zodiac stickers. Look at how pretty these are. You can't even really see the color in them. I mean, a little bit you can see it, but not. These are beautiful. And her and I were laughing because we're like, all of the Zodiac stickers, there's 21 of them. And there's doubles of several of them. And we laughed because Gemini, which is the twins, there's only one. A, a lot of the other ones, there's two of. There's not two of everything, but there's 21. Like, it's just weird. But I just thought it was funny. Out of all the ones you're going to have two of, you're not going to have one of the, you're not going to have two of the twins. So those were super pretty. Now this, I had, I had seen another creator talking about some chunky signs that she got at Dollar Tree and we did see them all. Now I've got six cabinets, my cabinets are metal, six cabinets across the top of my kitchen that I was like, you know what? I had this thought that if I got some sort of holiday thing and I put a magnet on it, I could put them in the middle of each of my cabinets and it would make it super easy to decorate for the holidays dress up the kitchen a little until I get the cabinets painted, um, it would really just make a big difference. So what I ended up doing, because I needed six and everything in Dollar Tree, everything, there's three, there's three different of everything, but there's not anything that has more than three. And the way my cabinets are, there's two over there, there's two on this wall, and then there's the Lazy Susan in the corner. Two, four. Oh, man, you know what? I'm going to have to go back and get one more because there's actually seven cabinets. So there's two, 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 and the Lazy Susan in the center. So I'm probably going to, I'll probably put something different on the Lazy Susan. Right now I have my target up there because I had a particularly good day at the range one day <laughs> a while ago. But I, I could probably take that down now. But anyway, so what I got were these. These little, and these, after I went through all those chunky wood ones, I found these and I'm like, these are perfect for my kitchen. They're little metal signs. So like these will be the ones I'll put up when I, when I come back from vacation. This one says, hello fall. This one says, happy harvest. And then this one says, hooray for pumpkin spice. And they're just little metal signs. I'll take the little hanger off them. I'll keep the raffia bow, but I'll take the little hanger off them because I'm just going to pop a magnet on the back and I'm going to put them on my cabinets. So I just got, I got two of each one thinking, oh, I can just go every other, right? I stood there in the store and I counted the cabinets. I was talking to my friend. I'm like, there's two, there's a lazy Susan, there's one, there's two. Yep, well, there's two, there's a Lazy Susan, there's two and two, so I gotta get one more. So I will come up with a different metal sign to put on the Lazy Susan, or, or I'll do, I'll figure it out, I'll do something. But I also, for the record, given the option, I like pumpkin spice, but given the option between apple cider and pumpkin spice, apple cider is gonna win 10 out of 10 times. I love apple cider. And fortunately for us, we have a couple of really nice farm stores around here where we can get delicious apple cider. It's absolutely like you don't buy that pasteurized stuff you get in the grocery store. You go to one of the orchards around here and get delicious apple cider. So I do, you know, again, I, I do like pumpkin, but I am an apple girl. So those are my signs. I got six of them, two of each design. That's what's going to go on my cabinets. So that's, that's pretty much the haul, but wait for the best part of the whole shopping trip. So we, I, I texted my friend because she had gone to look at a dog. She recently lost her dog and she was looking to adopt another dog. Um, so she had gone to check out that dog. So while I was waiting for her, I texted her. She's like, oh, I'll be home in five minutes. And I texted her and I said, um, do you want to go to Joanne's or do you want me to go and then I'll pick you up after I go? And she's like, no, I'll go. So then we thought about it and we realized going to Connecticut was the smarter way to go because all of the stores we wanted to go to are right there in the same plaza. So I went into Joanne's. Now, I always wanted one of those 
like 15 foot tall skeletons. There, when I first moved, well, I shouldn't say when I first moved, there was, there was a farm down the road from where I used to live. And as heartbreaking as it was, once the building moratorium was up on this guy's house, on his property, January 1st, the shovels were in the ground. All of the property sold. It's all houses now. So, I mean, it's progress. It is what it is. He's been gone. His family's gone, whatever. So heartbreaking as it is, but I mean, it was, it's still kind of cool. Like one of my friends, her house is there and she has an actual beam from the barn as her mantelpiece. So there, there was some cool stuff. Um, but even still heartbreaking for me because that was my childhood. Those were the fields we, you know, we rode in or we did whatever. It was just, you know, progress. Time moves on. But the people that had built the house, um, one of the houses towards the end of the property, they had one of those giant T-Rexes. And I said to my kids, I go, if I ever had the money to buy one of those, it would be up all year long. It would have, it would be T-Rex for, for the holidays or for, for Halloween. It would be a pilgrim for Thanksgiving. It would be Santa Claus for Christmas. It would be Jack Frost in January. It would be Cupid in February. It'd be a leprechaun in March. It would be a bunny in April. It would be, you know, covered in spring flowers in May. In June, it would have a tie on for Father's Day. July, it would be dressed like Uncle Sam. August has nothing except the vacation. So he'd probably get a beach theme in August. You know, September's Labor Day. I don't even know what, whatever. I would have him decorated for every holiday. So I I didn't, I never got my T-Rex. I never got my 15 foot skeleton. I never got that one signature piece that goes in your front yard that you can just decorate up. And after watching this guy with the T-Rex where he just left it up, he left it up all year long, but he didn't do anything with it. And it looked really stupid the year that he decorated his whole Christmas and front lawn. And the T-Rex was just sort of standing in the background like, nobody look at me, I'm just here, just just here not being part of your holiday. So finally, like four years in, I went by one time and I almost stopped the car, I was laughing so hard. He finally did what I absolutely 100% would have done. He finally dressed that, that T-Rex like Santa and he ran Christmas lights all the way down to the ground to these two little tiny reindeer. And it was hilarious. That was perfect. Like that's the kind of stuff I would do. So anyway, I, I like that whole signature. I also realized I went kayaking um, without doing anything. Uh, but anyway, so that's the kind of thing I would do if I had one of those signature pieces. So I don't. But I do have my little skeleton army that I'm building up uh, that I'm going to be able to do on my, my porch windowsill there. Now you've heard me say, I don't know what, a billion times that my porch is all beach theme and it will remain beach theme throughout the year. Like that will always be my oasis. So I go into Joanne's and I say, I just want to look at the skeletons and I want to see because the skeletons are all 40% off. And they've got like the, you know, probably like the six foot tall ones. So I'm like, whatever. I also thought it'd be cool to have those ones where you have them climbing up your house. Like I thought that would be cool too, but I never invested in that. So... I was at Joanne's today and I was talking to the girl and I'm like, so I think, let me see how much the tall skeleton is. And, and I go, how much is that medium sized one? And so we're talking and she goes, yeah, you know, I, I really like all these skeletons. She goes, especially the mermaid. And I go, the what? She goes, the mermaid. And I go, there's a mermaid skeleton. She goes, oh yeah. And she shows me the mermaid skeleton guys. I was thrilled. So, okay, right here, right? You're looking just regular skeleton, you know, with the, the flexible arms and the, although this arm only seems to go backwards. Maybe his, his head's probably backwards. Yeah, his head's backwards. Here we go. I've shown you the back of him. So here's his head or her head. And here's the arms and the little things and the, the pelvis moves. But wait for it. So skeleton, and then la 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 la, bunk, mermaid skeleton. This thing is watch my dog. He's 
He's not in love with the mermaid skeleton. 80 pounds of dog, terrified of a plastic, plastic skeleton. But, so, I had to come up with a good name for this skeleton. I was laughing. We were like Myrtle, Greta, I don't know, whatever. I got to come up with, with a name for her. Um, but I am so excited to put this on my porch because, again, mermaid. So cool. Like, I thought this was the coolest thing. Uh, oh, that's impressive. He's been running away from this thing since I got home. But I thought this was the coolest thing ever. So totally made my night. And honestly, by the time they were done, it this was $49.99. But then it was 40% off. And then I get a percentage off for being a 4-H leader. So it was, I think I paid $25 for it, which is not bad. This thing is as tall as I am. Like this thing is, is I hung it for my refrigerator and um, cause the only, I couldn't come up with a way to hang it where people could see it in order to grasp the size of it. And I wanted to take a picture of it. So I, my knife block is on top of my fridge. So I took my scissors out of the knife block and I put the scissors through the little loop, the little hole here, and I put the scissors back in the knife block, and I moved the knife block just to the edge of the slip fridge, and then I hung it there, and I'm like, all right, let's take the picture really quick, just in case that knife block doesn't hold, but it did, so I was able to get the picture, but how cool is this? Like, I'm so excited. So anyway, the video's getting long, but I had a great shopping day. I hope y'all had a great weekend. Tomorrow's Laughing Craft. So I plan on making the wreath, making my wharf, and who knows what else. Um, so I will see you guys in the next video. If you could help me out, I've been stagnant at um, right just over 600 subscribers for a while. So if you could help me out and like, share, subscribe, Tell me in the comments if you have any ideas for things you'd like to see me do or like other videos. Um, I, I'm, I like I said, I'm having fun with this, like nothing too structured. I was going to take you guys kayaking with me today, but the baby decided she wanted to ride with me today and not with my daughter. And so there was no way I was balancing a drink, a child paddling. And um, as it was halfway through, I had to give my drink to my daughter to hold because the baby kept backing up and so she decided to sit in my drink holder. And that's why I said the part of it that I did get to drink was really good. <laughs> so, all right guys. Well, thank you and help me out if you can. And I will see y'all in the next video. Have a good night guys. Bye.